Okay, here we go. Box opening video on a brand new Ruger PC carbine, as you can see by the box. I'll try not to get in the way here. So, opening the box here. The spice spacer. It comes with uh, extra spacers to uh, put in the buttstock to increase the length of pull. There's two of them. It comes with one uh, 10 round SR9 magazine. Chamber flag. I'll need that for a competition. This is the uh, adapter for Glock magazines. You've got two, three Allen wrenches for taking it down. The gun lock. and the rifle itself in the bag. So let's just get it out of the bag here. Okay, so to keep it in perspective here, right side, left side, Here's the uh, magazine relief, safety. The bolt is interchangeable from the right side to the left side. I believe the magazine relief is also interchangeable. It comes with peep sights. I don't know if you can see how well you can see there the peep sights. There you go. And it's the takedown model. In order to take it down, it's got a heavy bolt. So you pull the back, bolt back. There's a lever underneath here. Can you see that? Where my finger is, I guess. I don't have such good light here. So you push the lever forward, twist, and it comes apart. Take down. Oh yes, and this is the model with the uh, threaded barrel. So I can put a muzzle device on it. I plan on getting a, a muzzle brake and putting it on later. But for the time being, we'll just have the cap on. It's got a Picatinny rail in the front here. You could mount, I don't know, a laser beam, flashlight, whatever you wanted to. It's got sling mounts here in the front. And the sling mount in the back. And if you take the stock off, that's probably what the two small uh, the small Allen wrench is for, I can increase the length of pull. Here's the two uh, Allen, bo Allen bolts here. I can take these out and interchange the uh, magazine assembly here. And put in this, which is what I'm going to do, and put in the uh, Glock. Put in the one for the Glock magazines. So the trigger assembly here, I have been told, is uh, similar to the Ruger 1022. It says that they share some parts. It's not a complete drop-in model. Um, so I'm anxious to see what parts are actually interchangeable because it might be worth getting a, a kid trigger 
and putting it in here to uh, um, reduce the uh, trigger pull down to about two pounds. As you can see, it comes with a Picatinny rail for mounting optics. I'm going to put a uh, red dot on here that I have. In fact, I'll, sh I'll show you that right here. This is the Chinese uh, Seymour red dot. And uh, that'll go nicely right on here. First deal competition. Deal challenge. This came in a nice little box. And it's even got a uh, hood and a deflector. So that's it. Let me turn this light on. Maybe I could get a little bit uh, better light here on some of it for you. So here is the bolt, Picatinny rail, the magazine release, which I believe is interchangeable. I know the bolt is interchangeable from this side to from the right side to the left side. The barrel, it's a nice fluted barrel, nine millimeter. Rumor is that uh, Ruger might introduce these also in uh, 40 caliber and 45 with uh, just uh, the change of a barrel and magazine. Uh, that's yet to be seen, but that would be pretty cool. Now to put it back together, you just snap it in place and it's done. Here, here's the uh, release. It's not like quite a tight fit here. Uh, but maybe an aftermarket uh, mag, uh, stock might be good. So that's it. Open box video. I know the lighting isn't too great, but uh, once I get it out and take some movies, you'll get to see some more of it in action. Thanks for watching.